ISO in our camera settings and the exposure triangle settings is a measurement of how responsive the sensor is to light. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and stay up to date with the videos that we're posting. If you're learning something, give us a like and share it with a friend too so that they can enjoy the teaching. ISO means International Standard Organisation. It's pretty boring, it really doesn't tell us anything about what ISO does in your camera and how it affects your image but it is really important to understand. Um, I find a lot of people that we teach on our Chiang Mai photo workshops don't really have a good grasp of what ISO is and how to really control it and when to change it and when you need to control it. Basically it's a, a measurement of how responsive the sensor is to light and it's a little bit like putting sunglasses on on a sunny day when it's really bright and you want to cut down the amount of light or you want to cut down how uh, responsive your eyes are. So the same as with an ISO, so if you remember that the lower the number on the ISO setting the less responsive it is to light. The only time I really change it is when the light changes a lot. So yeah today it's a fairly overcast day, there's not a lot of light, I'd probably set my ISO on 400. If I was to go inside a building or I was shooting in the evening I would need to push my ISO up higher to maybe a thousand or sixteen hundred so that the sensor is more responsive to the low light. So the, the, when there's less light the sensor is more responsive, you've got then more flexibility to shoot with your camera and to create images when there's not much light around. If you're interested to know more about this, we've got a course that I've mentioned before, it's called Master Your Camera, Master Your Creativity. I'll give you a lot more detail, I'll teach you a lot more on why it's important to understand ISO and when to use it and also some of the technical issues associated with it that can result in lower quality images, that you'll get a lower technical quality. So if you're interested to learn more about that, check out the link in the description below. It's got a coupon code attached to it so that you'll get the course at a good discount, the best price that you'll find and enjoy learning more about how to use your camera on manual mode and how to start being really creative in control of your exposures and getting photos that are not going to look just the same as everybody else's because you're not using auto mode anymore. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, we've got lots of great videos up there already and there's more on the way.